the other thing is, is our school of Tai Chi uh, came about as a result of Oscar E. Chaucer meeting the Master of Five Excellences, the Grand Master of Tai Chi that brought Tai Chi to the West, Professor Chang Mon Ching, met each other in New York thanks to the founder of our school, Patrick Watson, who was a senior student of both these men, brought both these men together, fell in love with each other, and um, uh, became great friends and shared common students. Students went back and forth across both school lines. and. Uh, and we did the same and got training in both schools and became teachers in both schools. Yeah, I, I found that, that um, ta what Tai Chi gave me that I didn't experience any place else was a grounded quality. I mean, if I look at, at my, uh, if, if you go to astrological charts, I have almost no earth in my chart. And it gave me a way to really feel my groundedness doesn't mean I always do, but if I choose, make that choice, I can feel that. And doing a round of Tai Chi helps me. I, I'm, I'm a mover. I love to move. I love to dance. I love to sing. Uh, it just gave me a way to be in the world in addition to the, the uh, real clarification of consciousness I was getting from Eureka. Um, just kind of putting all that together was a great way to live. And you know now when I, when I, music that has a really strong beat, my body wants to move. It's that, this, there's that energy that, that just wants to move. And I, we like to dance and it brings out singing, it brings out all kinds of creative energy. Well, uh, we recognize that all people who are, uh, come into the Tai Chi door come for different reasons. Some come because they have heard that it's good for your health and they want to come and do that, at least experiment to see if this slow-moving kind of odd exercise for some, it's bigger in our culture now than it used to be, but in the beginning we had to explain everything about what Tai Chi was, is. Um, others come because they have, they have heard of, of the great Chang Mon Chang, not many five, Excellent, uh, five uh, masters of five excellences in the world, and we were were gra grateful for his being our grandfather teacher. Um, want to come for that tradition uh, that's there. Um, we don't prepend, uh, pretend to think that we have achieved anything like Professor Chang had, but uh, the the process of getting there is a lot of fun. And so those that want to invest in a more long range, um, I've been doing it for 40 years myself, and I, I don't grow tired of it at all. It's continually new. Uh, we just got back from Maui, Hawaii, where we met with um, almost, I'd say, six, six, 50, 60 teachers from all over the world and to do work together for a whole day, which is really wonderful, uh, and to make sharings that um, we have... Um, uh, learned in our own way and wanted to share with others. So uh, I would say people who are real beginners uh, find a, a place there for themselves. People who are uh, a little bit more interested but maybe not interested in becoming teachers. And those who want to join into our apprentice teaching program, um, which allows them to make those steps to become a teacher and how to pass this uh, really essential work. Now do you both teach? We both teach. In fact, uh, the teaching that we do in our school is mostly done with teams. It gives us a chance to uh, have someone leading, another person observing what issues that need to be addressed with the students. And so that's the best way that we've found. And we're all certified, trained and certified in how to teach. So um, we bring that skill with us to our classes. Uh, the skill that we have in teaching, I think, is unique. It's, it, it, uh, goes beyond what you would find in most schools, quite frankly. And it's thanks, once again, to the Eureka process and Oscar E. Chazo. And one of the reasons Professor Chang Man Chang passed his sword to Oscar E. Chazo was because he saw that this teaching method was really uh, far superior than this ancient way of standing up in front of the students and in the traditional way, you don't even talk. So there was no mental verbal uh, channel 
that helps us learn. Americans like all channels. We, we learn in a lot of different ways. We learn through the body, we learn through uh, uh, language, uh, voice of course, and we learn through visuals. So we incorporate all of those in our teaching in both schools actually. And I do that of course in process integration work as well.